Okay, so welcome to 2022 exam here on DCG. Um, so question A2 here. Um, we've got the parabolic bridge at Meason Head. The drawing shows the axis uh, AA1 focus F and two points P and Q on a similar parabola. Part A, locate the directrix and vertex and draw a portion of the parabola which will pass through P and Q. So points P and Q are both on the directrix. Now, we can see here the directrix is vertical. The key with a parabola is P to F, okay, is equal to P to D. So the distance from P to F is the same distance as P to directrix or Q to F is equal to Q to D. And we know this is vertical through the page. Right, so what I would do here is get my compass, put it on Q, okay. Uh, the point Q is obviously done far too big by the state and P, the point is far too large. All right, so we're gonna put our compass on Q, bring it to F, and we're going to draw an arc here. Now, okay, we can do the same then there from from P okay now one would really suffice there so it would I don't know what the marking scheme is going to be like so it might be safe it's just to have the two in because the directrix has to be a tangent to arc so D is going to be uh, a long or D is going to be touching each arc okay there's a normal parallel to the axis and then our directrix is going to pass through through that there. So there's our directrix. Now we're going to get our vertex, and we'll draw in our line of eccentricity. So our line of eccentricity is going to be 45 degrees from the origin. Our lattice rectum, okay, is going to be going through the focus. We're going to get our vertex here now. So we're going to go back at 45 degrees from the focus until we hit the lattice rectum. There's our, going to be our vertex there. B. Now. We're going to draw lines at any distance. Okay, I've drawn one between V and F to get a point between uh, on the problem between V and F. Now, we can draw lines at any distance after, okay, the focus. To keep it simple, I'll make them every 15 millimeters. Right. Now, it's going to draw line through there to touch the line of eccentricity here's the line of eccentricity now where are these uh, okay lines parallel to the directrix touch the line of eccentricity I'm going to draw them on to the lattice rectum. So there we go, they're on to our lattice rectum there, and then the one between V and F, I want to put there off on there. Now, I'm going to take my compass now and I'm going to put it on F, and I'm going to swing it back, swing these points on the lattice rectum back onto the lines parallel to the directrix they came from. So. Right, so I have two points here. Next one, I'm going to bring to F. Now, I'm going to swing this back to here. Let's fix this focus. Okay left and right next one so it comes on F swing left and right last one here outside the queue 
right and I'm going to freehand sketch these in so I'm going to do that now and just before I do it there I just want to point out that okay where the latus rectum touches the line of eccentricity is a point on the parabola and also all conic sections now next part draw a tangent okay to the parabola or a tangent curve at point q so i'm going to join q to f sorry i'm going to join q to f i'm going to draw a line at 90 degrees to line q to f Until I touch the directrix here, I go on here until I touch Q. Here, there's my normal. Or so, uh, there's sorry, that's not my, my normal. There, what I'm on about. Okay, uh, I'm going to join. I'm going to join that to Q. So there's my tangent. Okay, and I'll draw in my normal. So I can line up my set square with my tangent. And there's my normal there. Okay, thank you. Cheers.